Let's use the power of AI to respond to our form submissions using ChatGPT. This way, our responses are going to be based on the submission that we're going to receive and more personalized. So let me show you how to do this right now. Welcome to Jot Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT AI to respond to our job form submissions. This way, depending on the submission that we're going to receive, it's gonna respond using the AI system. This way, the responses are going to be more personalized. Now, to accomplish this, we're gonna use three technologies. One is going to be job form, which is going to capture our form submissions. Second, it's going to be Pavli Connect, which is going to be the bridge with our AI system, and also our email sender. And the third technology is going to be ChatGPT by OpenAI. So let's get started with this tutorial. This is our main dashboard and we're going to get started with a quick form because what we're going to do is um, eliminate the auto response that we're using by default on JotForm. So we'll create start from scratch, classic form, and you can use card form also for this, but we're going to use this one for demo purposes. Okay, so this is a JotForm builder. Let's add some basic elements, for example, the email, the name, and we're going to add a long text here and a short one. So we'll add a drop down also. Okay, so let's fill these out to have information to explain how the autoresponder is going to work with ChatGPT. All right, I just finished filling these out, which is what area are you interested in reaching? And I just added support, sales, warehouse, and refunds. And your favorite color and agency suggestions. Just in case this is a car agency, for example, and we're just gonna use this for double purposes. Now. Let's jump over to settings, emails, and in emails, we have two emails that are going to be sent out. One is a notification that we're going to receive as the creators of this form in, in JotForm. And the second one is the autoresponder, which is going to send this autoresponse to the email that you used in the form submission. So whoever fills this out is the autoresponder. For this, we're going to get rid of this one because we're going to use ChatGPT and Pavli Connect to accomplish this. So, okay, what do we have to do next? We're going to go into integrations. We're going to search for webhook. We're going to select it and we're going to need a webhook link. This one is going to be provided by Pavli Connect. Like I mentioned before, Pavli Connect is going to be our bridge between JotForm and ChatGPT. Okay. So let's get started with a new workflow. So let's go ahead and create a workflow and we're going to name this autoresponder. Okay. There we go. And now we have two main things that we have to do. One is the trigger, which is what is going to trigger this automation. And for this case, it's going to be a job form submission. And the next one is going to be the action. What are we going to do with it? Okay. So let's start with the trigger in the trigger. We're going to select dot form when it's selected the event is going to be a new response and this is the webhook that we're going to use so let's go ahead and copy this webhook and we're going to use it here on the integration on dot form so let's add this webhook there we go let's complete the integration okay it's been integrated now be aware that in Pavli connect it's waiting for a webhook response so we need to fill out the form once so it has data to be used here. So it knows what the form submission has, like the name, the email, the questions, etc. We need to receive that first. So let's fill out this form first. Let's go into publish, open in a new tab. And let me go ahead and fill this out really quickly. All right, I just finished filling this out, which is my name, the area that I want to contact, my favorite color, and just a suggestion here to consider investing in training program to improve their customer service. And what we want to do is actually use this to respond to something with ChatGPT. So I'm going to submit it and we're going to go back into, here we go, to Pally Connect, and it just received it. So you can see here, we just got this, the area, the color, the agency, the, the agency suggestion, the email, and my name. So we have this data that we're going to use for the autoresponder. Now Pally Connect knows what this form is about and what the fields are every time that it's filled out. So it knows how to tie it in with the automation. Okay, so next, what do we have to do? Let's choose the next action. And in this case, we want to use ChatGPT to create a response for this 
section for this submission. So let's search for OpenAI and we're going to select this one. We're going to search the event and we're going to select ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and connect. And we have two options. In this case, I already have an existing connection. If you don't, we need to create a new connection. For this, we're going to need the API key. This API key is located in your OpenAI account. Now, this is the main dashboard for OpenAI. And to grab the API key, you're going to head on over to your name on the top right, view API keys, and we're going to view our API's key right here. We can create a new secret key and we'll have the complete key that we can use in Pally Connect. In this case, I'll use my existing account. There we go. It's connected and I can select the AI model. So there's two models available as of this video. In this case, I'll select this one for now. And now we have the prompt. So the prompt is what do we want to do with the data that we have to use it in ChatGPT? So what do you want ChatGPT to do with it? So let's go ahead and write a prompt for this because we want to respond to that form submission. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so what I'm telling ChatGPT in the prompt is please respond to this form submission I just received in a kind and professional manner. This is the data provided. So now I'm going to start with the data provided. And I'm going to say name and I'm going to go into the job form response. So let's add the first name space. We'll add the last name. The next data provided is area are trying to reach. OK, and again, we're going to grab that from the response. So let's go ahead and select it here. And in this case, it's sales. The next one is favorite color. Now, the, the reason I'm adding all of these is because it's going to this information is going to help ChatGPT make this message personalized. OK, and then we have and we said it was car agency. So we're going to say car agency suggestion. And again, we're going to grab the response from here and here it is. All right. And if we want to add the form submission, we can go ahead and say um, form ID in case this is needed later on. We can grab it from the response and this is the submission ID. Now that one is going to be just plain. Well, actually, we're not going to use this in ChatGPT. We'll use that in the email that's sent out. OK, so this is the first data. We're telling it what we need and we're giving it the data. Now we can fine tune and play with this until we get the right um, data that we're going to need with the chat with ChatGPT response. So let's go ahead and test it out and see if we're going to get good results. If not, we're going to have to tweak it to get better results. So remember, it's trying to create a response for the form submission. So this is the data that it's received and this is the message content. Let's go ahead and stretch this out to see what the message is actually going to be. OK, so I'm stretching this out. OK, and you can see that it automatically added the name and we have the message for response. OK, so for example, you can see that here's the response. Thank you for reaching out to us and expressing your interest in the sales area. We appreciate your feedback and suggestion for improving our customer service skills throughout training programs and providing multiple channels for customers to reach us. And again, you can see that this is based on the data that we provided in the submission. So every single time that someone has a different submission, it's going to say thank you based on that data. And also, thank you for your favorite color suggestion of blue. We value your input and appreciate your interest in our car agency. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any further suggestions or if you have if you can be of any assistance. Best regards. Now, in this case, it says your name because we didn't provide that data. So let's give it another try here. And we're going to say the agency. We're going to say the car agency name is we're going to say AI mortar sales. OK, so let's see if it adds it here. So again, we're going to do a retest. And be aware that every time that we do this, it's going to be different output. So it's not always going to be the same message. So even if someone suggests it suggests the exact same thing, it's going to be different. So again, let's stretch this content. Here we go. And again, it's it's making the name because it's it's personal. So we'll add our name. So let's go here again. We're fine tuning this. 
my name is and we'll say John Doe again it's quite untested now be aware that as you can see I'm fine-tuning this to make the response more professional and better so again we have the response here let's go ahead and stretch it stretch it more and if you pay attention this is different every single time and here we go best regards John Doe so now we have a complete response that's unique to that submission that we received that makes it really interesting and cool to do because it's it's so unique people are going to think that this was done in a in a professional way someone did it manually but no we're using ChatGPT ai system to accomplish this now to make this even more realistic you can see that once we receive the submission the ChatGPT system is going to work and then we're going to send out this email but we're not going to send it out right away because well that's gonna look like someone did it, like a robot did it, so we don't want that. And we're gonna do a little next step here, and we're gonna use delay, okay? So in this delay, we can delay four different types of situations, minutes, hours, days, or weeks. So I'm gonna delay it for, I'll say hours, okay? And we'll delay it for one hour. So when the submission is received, it's gonna do the generation in ChatGPT, and it's gonna wait for one hour, and then we're gonna work with the next action. And this next action is to send out an email. You can use SMTP for this. For example, this will be your own personalized email with your own domain, and you have to connect your data here, which is basically um, basic information that you would have for your custom email, like username, the password, encryption type, and the port. And you're gonna send out emails with your own personalized email with your own personalized domain. In this case, and just for testing purposes, I'll use an email provider like Gmail. And I'm gonna select an event. I'm gonna send an email. I'm going to connect. And in this case, again, I already have a Gmail connected to this, but you can add a new connection. In the new connect connection, it's gonna ask you to authorize Pavly Connect to send out emails with your Gmail. In this case, I'm gonna use mine, so I'm gonna use existing connection. And the recipient email address is the one that we received in dot form. So the recipient address is this one. Remember, the email that I've added in the form submission, let me show you this one right here, which is, would be my email when someone fills it out. And let's go back to the automation. Next, we're not gonna add CC, BCC either. The sender name, so this is our name, like the company who is sending it out. And remember, we said AI mortar. There we go, AI Motors. And the email subject, we're gonna say, well, thank you for submitting your response. And we're gonna add the name here. This email, this name is gonna be grabbed from the response before. And we're just gonna add the first name for this, okay? Thank you for thank you for submitting your response, George, in this case, okay? And then reply to, which would be your professional email. Um, in this case, I'll just say my at customdomain.com. Okay, you would add your own right there. The email content, it can be plain or HTML. In this case, we're gonna keep it plain. And then we have the email content. Remember, we're gonna use our ChatGPT generated response. We're gonna grab it from here, message content, okay? And remember, we wanted to add the form submission ID. We're gonna add it here because that one is going to be always the same. We don't need ChatGPT to modify this or use it in any case. So we're gonna say, submission ID, and this one is available from the form response. Here it is, and that's gonna be unique every single time that someone submits a form on JotForm, okay? No file name and no attachments. I'm gonna send a test request. There we go, it's been sent. Let's go check out this email. Here we go, I just received the email. You can see, thank you for submitting your response, George. AI mortars, mortars and you can respond to my at custom domain in this case and here's the message that we received with all the I, the chat response chat gpt response and the submission id now let's go ahead and fill this out again to get another response directly from gmail now be aware that in public connect you should have this turned on to work okay now let's fill it out again with a different information and i'm gonna say let me write this out Okay, I just finished writing this up and now my name is Mark Wallace and I'm searching for the refund area. My favorite color is green just for 
um, purposes there and the agency suggestions. In this case, I am writing to express a dissatisfaction with my recent purchase for a Ford X car from your dealership, unfortunately, blah, 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 etc. So I just wrote this. I'm going to use the same email because we're going to receive it right now. So I am going to submit it and everything is automated. So I don't have to go back to Public Connect. I don't have to go back to OpenAI ChatGPT. Everything's going to be done automatically and we should be receiving that email in about a bit. So let's go check it out. Okay, we just received the response. You can see, thank you for submitting your response mark, which is one of the variables that each time that the submission is made, it's gonna add that name there. And here we go, dear Mark Wallace, thank you for reaching out to us regarding your recent purchase of a Ford X car to dealership, et cetera. We're sorry to hear that you are dissatisfied with this performance and quality, etc. And we're getting this response automatically, okay? Again, if you think this is going too far and has too much information, we can tell ChatGPT to be more subtle and don't try to uh, answer the whole thing. We could try to be more subtle, just kind of be basic and respond to this. And we're going to reach them later on. You can tell that it's, it's totally valid, okay? Now, we have a little mistake here, which is your name. It's add in this field, and we can go ahead and tell in the automation to don't add this. So we can go ahead and tell it, don't add this variable box, well, aerial variable, and we'll add that there. So again, it, it's not going to add that section every single time. So in case it's not detected, it won't add it. So let's see if it kind of detects it here. I'm doing another test here on Public Connect. And we're gonna get the response from ChatGPT. So here we go, let's stretch it out. And here we go, it didn't add it. So we're gonna do constant test until we get the right format. Like I said, we're going to fine tune all this information to get the right responses every time. Once you have it set up right, go ahead and start your automation. And each time that a form submission is made, it's gonna be unique and really professional. And if you want to be fun instead of professional, you can go ahead and say here, maybe it's something that has, doesn't have to be um, really strict. Well, you can be fun, you can be funny, you can be however you like, just tell it, ChatGPT, how you want to respond to these messages. So I'll just give you a quick one. Um, I just received in, in a fun and energetic energetic matter okay so let's try this out you're gonna see that we have this right now which is really kind of professional and kind we're gonna switch it up a bit and see what it says and this again this is just to give you some demo purposes so you can see how you can use this all right let's see this out now you can see it's more energetic and fun. Thank you for reaching out to us about sales. We love color blue too. See how it kind of blends in with what they said and it makes it fun. And we totally agree with your suggestions about investing in customer service training and providing more channels for our customers. That's why we're proud to announce that AI Mortars Sales is already working on implementing these ideas. Thanks again for your input, John Doe and George. Here's to driving in style and providing exceptional, exceptional customer service. See how that just changed by telling it how we wanted to respond to this message. And like I said, these are just demo suggestions to see how you can use this in real world use. But there you go. That is how you're gonna use AI ChatGPT to respond to your form submissions in a unique and professional way. Well, we thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.